Welcome back. I'm Kayla, and this is my co-host, Ainsley. <laughs> Did you forget your name? Yes. <laughs> so what are we going to do in this video? You never told me anything we were going to do. <laughs> so I have some yarn. Um, Hobby Lobby had yarn 30% off for the second week in a row, and I think it's going to be on sale for the next couple weeks as well. Um, I forget the date that it said that it was on sale. So, um, which worked out good because I was making a project. I'll show you that in a second. And, um, what I had in mind for it, I had plenty of yarn, but as I got going, I was like, this is so pretty. I want to make it into a shirt. It's my mini me over here copying me. <laughs> Um, so I decided I want to make it into a shirt for her sister and I needed more yarn. I was like, oh darn, yarn was on sale last week and I missed it. And I don't like to buy yarn unless I can get it on sale because it's literally on sale every other week. <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> it's literally on sale every other week. So you're really restraining yourself, aren't you? You're having a hard time there, aren't you? <laughs> So it's on sale every other week. It's on sale every other week. <laughs> and so I know I just have to hold off for a week and then I can get it on sale and um, I will save some money that way. But then my husband calls me from Hobby Lobby and he says that he's buying his yarn. I was like, why are you buying yarn? It's not on sale this week. Like, don't go spend money that you don't have to. And he's like, it is on sale. And I told him, I said, no, it's not. <laughs> It was. It's on sale. So um, he got his yarn, which you want to grab that bag? We'll show what he got. Oh, yeah. Uh, he said he was going to make something that uh, he was going to make like a vest looking jacket thingy. Okay. And he said that he grabbed this yarn because he thought it looked a lot like somebody back here that mom said is covered. Lady. Yeah, and it the matches, blue, and, the, it? and the blue part comes from her leash. Oh, my God. It does match. How cute. But my first thought was the bird from up. Oh, yeah. It kind of looks like a muted blue. Kevin, doesn't it? Yeah. It's pretty. So you want to tell him about the yarn? Your dad is the only one I know that actually uses this kind of yarn. That like you, but it's fun you to, take it to like Yeah, and it ends it up in. looking like you knitted it. It's really cool. Oh, do we still have that blanket that he made for me? It's really dirty, but like, do, do we still have it? <laughs> yeah, we probably do. Can okay. we show a picture of it? Yes, we'll put a picture of the blanket he right made. Right here. Right. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Bam. Right there. One, two, three. Okay, and it's gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell him about the yarn. Do you want to tell him the name, what kind of yarn it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, is this the brand? The brand is Lion Brand. Oh, the brand is Lion Brand Yarns, and it's off the hook. And you probably get that because you're supposed to use your fingers, not the hook. Yeah, so we're not using the but, hook. We're off the hook because we're using our fingers. Yeah, but also another thing about using this, you might want to get like a thing if the yarn doesn't come with it because you don't crochet it with your finger. You don't even crochet it. You like fold it in a certain way. I can't remember how. You've done it before though, haven't you? Yeah, when he was help, when he was making it, I decided to help him and he taught me how, but then mm -hmm. I forget. Oh, this kind of looks like cotton candy. Yeah, pink and blue together. So it is a Jumbo 7, 100% polyester, 3.5 ounces and 100 grams. Um, machine washable and dryable, which is nice. So your dirty blanket we can put in the wash. Yeah. Ooh, the name. Tell them the name of it. Oh, okay, the name. The name? The name? Wait. Right there. What's the name? I don't see the name. Is it called Color? Right here. Color? Oh. <laughs> what are you reading? <laughs> the middle part on the Oh, it's called jelly beans. Yeah, it kind of does look like jelly beans. Yeah, so um, it's five ninety nine regular price, but we got thirty percent off. Oh, I saw this thing on here. Um, you actually do not need a manual. On the thing, it says he got a little watercolor pad too. Yeah, it 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 um it says uh well it says video tutorial. 
lionbrand.com slash off the hook. Search it up and you'll get the tutorial. And it says right here. And it says a thing there. It's kind of backwards. I wish this stuff wasn't backwards. Do you want to show off these other ones? Oh, yeah. So I did some shopping through FaceTime with him there since it was on sale. Um, but I didn't know at the time that I needed more of my other yarn. But I was using this yarn. I was like, oh, I love this yarn. So not to be confused with I love this yarn brand. Um, but this is Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton, which I'm using for the the one project. It's super duper pretty. It is so pretty. What's that one called? The name is right under where it says Sugar Wheel Cotton. Paris Mornings. And you get five ounces or 142 grams, 335 yards or 306 meters. It is 100% cotton and it's a size three. Um, I would say it's pretty close to a three, between a three and a four. Um, did we get it for less than $7? Yes. So the price went up on these because some of them were $5.99 and some were $6.99. Um, but I think we're in the middle of a price increase on these. So this one was $6.99, which made it $7. But um, it was on sale at the time. I don't know if it's 30 still on sale. 30% off. 30% yep. off, yep. which would make it... I, I'm not doing that math right now. Oh, you did math really quick last I time. I can't do math in my head. <laughs> but you did it last time. No, I didn't. Or did you use your calculator? I used my calculator. Wow. I don't do math in my head. Okay, this one's called Citrus... Citrus? Citrus, citrus Grove. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really pretty. I like the... It, it's really it's very... Um, fallish so it'll be nice going into the fall make something with that and like the colors and it would probably so, be a pretty ugly color scheme <laughs> <laughs> so this is what my husband picked up this so beautiful i got to do some shopping over the phone which was cool yes this is my pencil thing that we found at walmart for walmart target <laughs> Oh, we found that Target for um only five dollars. I think only, it was on sale. Was it only five dollars, or is five dollars pretty expensive for this? I probably wouldn't have paid five dollars for it, but we got it on sale for three fifty. Yeah, and I'm gonna paint this for my teacher. She might not want me saying her name, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna end up being on this, and we're gonna show you the after picture. But um. The inside, you can hold pencils, pens, markers. You can hold scissors. Anything. Blue sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and it has so she loves to details. she loves to do different crafts too. I'm going to be painting. Oh, can I show them another craft? Uh, that you got me. It was like the the thing that you see in little like Beauty and the Beast. One where it was on the wall, it was glass, like a set of a like a clear glass window. It was like designs with different like. I'll go. I'll go get it. You talk to them, and I'll be back. Okay. To be continued with her part of it. So the sugar wheel cotton that I've been working on, um, same specs as the other one, and it's called Harbor Wish. And I will show you a full skein or cake. That way you can see all of the colors, but it's um, like cream colors and blues. It doesn't actually do it justice um, as far as the colors that it picks up on and the gradient. Um, it does really, it shows when it works up, it's got like creams and when it switches into a blue, it almost has like a greenish tint to it. It's really pretty. So, um, which hopefully you'll be able to see. It's hard to see the greens and stuff, but it's a little bit through this area. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it and I actually did leave the room. I was pretty loud when I left, but I did leave the room. Are we going back room. to you now? No, you keep going and then I'll talk. Okay, just real quick. Um, 
so I started to make like a hand towel with this and but then the stitch I'm using just a moss stitch um I'm going to turn this into a top for her sister now uh Emma saw it and she thought it was really pretty so I'm gonna do um a little bit bigger than a spaghetti strap but just a nice flowy tank top that kind of hits right at the waist so that's what I'm going to make with this. And so I got some more cotton today to be able to finish that. And I'm using a four and a half millimeter hook for this. And I think I just, she's real tiny. Um, and I put 56 chains on it. And I don't know how tall I'm going to get. I, I'm going to measure it against her to figure out what I want to do. Are we going to show the picture of the thing you're making too, or do you want it to be a surprise? I don't know what thing I'm making. She, for Emma. Oh, I've already got a video talking about that. Hey. I put that down for a little while because I was having a hard time reading the pattern. Hey, I bet if I can finish this in time, I might be able to draw with it. With the pencil? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to draw. Okay, you want to talk about the... Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about now. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, we... This is what I'm going to be making. It's like, what? what is it called, though? That's mosaic tiles. Mosaic tiles. Okay, so from the close-up, you couldn't really see it. But in the dark green, uh, there was a black smiley face and black eyes. Um, I think this comes with, like, white gooey clay. But, like, I don't know how to make I don't know this. exactly what that is. But I know that you put it on here because this is wood. But then it's it squishy. Out. Let's see. It's air dry clay. There you go. I hope you don't live in Canada because this is 10 bucks there. <laughs> <laughs> this is only $5, $6 here. We actually got it for like a dollar. You did? I did. I got it on sale. All their summer kits, the Creatology from Michael's was on sale for quite a bit. She's six and older, Mom. You're it's older than six. So it would work for me. I'm over six. So it's a frog design. That'll be pretty cool, won't it? All right, I'm going to show them what else I'm working on. Oh, one last thing before you... <laughs> one last thing before She scares you... <laughs> me. <laughs> one last thing before she shows you that. So you're going to get a red rubber band or ribbon. I don't know if you can see that. That's a hang it with, isn't it? Yeah, that's to hang it with. See? It's right here. Yeah. It's actually supposed to be the tongue of the front. Let me see. <gasps> it is! Now, that's cool. Give you a look. Look, looky, looky. I can't tell what's been being Okay, seen. now you're going to have to put it together so you can show them. Oh. One of <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so one of the other things I've been working on. So she mentioned the shirt that I was making for her older sister. That's not what I just showed you. Um, I put that down for a little while because I'm starting back on my last term um, of graduate school and should graduate, God willing, in January um, with my master's in nursing education. So um, since that term just started, uh, I need to be able to do some mindless crocheting. And that project is very not mindless. It takes a lot of thought. <laughs> um, so <laughs> quit it. <laughs> it takes a lot of thought. So I've put that down for the moment and I'm going to be working on things that um, I don't have to think about too much. So I have a dishcloth that I'm making right now. Do you want to show them? Okay. Hold it up there for him. Become your whole screen. Okay, you're getting too close then it won't focus. Oh. About halfway. There you go. And then if you turn it a little sideways so they can see the bobbles on it. Oh, yeah. I'm doing a cobblestone stitch. Okay. Um, and I got the pattern um, from a seller on Etsy. 
so I'll link that down below so you can see it. Um, I like this cotton as far as the collar. I don't like how not soft it is, but it's just kitchen cotton. Um, it's not sugar wheel cotton. But I think the cobblestone would be more visible in a lighter color. So next time when I use this pattern, I will use a lighter color. Um, but anyway, this is a nice mindless stitch as well as the shirt and stuff that I'm making. So when I have to sit there and listen to um, different presentations and webinars, I actually concentrate better when I'm either doodling or crocheting. So don't fall off the chair. <laughs> You're about to fall off. Come here. There you go. Um, yeah, so I actually concentrate better when I'm crocheting or doodling. So I will be making a lot of things like this um, in the next uh couple months so um and another reason I probably won't be posting videos as often as I have the last couple of weeks because I'm just super busy right now so and my last term includes uh, clinical rotation so I I will be <laughs> I will be very preoccupied um I'll try to get some short videos in here and there just to give you guys an update and say hi but Otherwise, I will not be able to crochet as much as I want to right now. Ain't that right? Yeah. Wait, let me do an invisible crochet. I want to see if I can remember how to do it. So you make your hook, skip, skip all that. But you don't make your hook, you make your hoop. <laughs> Loop. <laughs> Loop. <laughs> you make your hoop. <laughs> Wait, can I have the do do Yeah. <laughs> the what? The thingy. The thingy. <laughs> the thingy. Okay. Okay. That seems about right. Then we got turned around. <laughs> and then we're like. Through the hole, grab a thing, pull through the hole, pull through once, pull through twice. And that's a single crochet. And do it all again. You're a dangerous child. <laughs> I know. Don't give you a hook. Don't give you any knitting needles. Those have points. Those have points on them. I've held a... Okay. <laughs> I've held those before and I've used one before. Not to do the right thing. I did it to stab a fruit. <laughs> stab a fruit? Yeah. Oh gosh, things I learn. Things I learn from you. Okay, well that's all we have right now. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Be sure to like and subscribe. What? What are you doing? I just went through a time loop. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when my videos do come up. Have a great day. Bye.